In this video, we are going to work on the drawer in Material UI. All right. So let me show you one more time for the final project. When I reduce the size of my viewport of my browser, as you can see, I have this nice drawer toggle it for responsive design. So this is what we are going to add in this video. So let's get started. Before that, let's head over to Material UI website and search for drawer and see the kind of component and the implementation that we're going to use in this. Okay, so a drawer is provide access to destinations in your app, site sheet are surfaces containing other styles in important terminal. So let's see the implementation. On the side, we have we have left when you click on this one, it opens from the left, bottom, top. And then right this we are going to use inside application but if you look at their code here if at the first glance it looks scary right how it's implemented but i'll make it really simple for you to use inside your application so let's get started let me arrange my password all right so at the state of our application this is what we have we are going to implement the drawer as I talked about. So let's create a folder. I want to create everything on the navbar, but it will look more messy. So let's create one folder, one file here called drawer component. Okay. So inside my navbar, let me create one file called because inside drawer drawer component component like that and let me create the file called the file for drawer component dot js all right so let me have my dummy component as that all right so let's get started so I'm going to import a couple of components from material UI first let's import the drawer from material UI so let me make it say drawer let me see i can have the auto import sometimes it works sometimes the auto import doesn't work i think this time around it worked well so let me bring it my react component up and my other import below so let me wrap everything here as what drawer as that so we're going to import this one inside our navbar and we do some conditional rendering as well so here Inside the drawer, let's see the couple of props it's going to take, right? So first of all, let's pass in the list, okay? Because as you can see, for the final one, we see some list. Let me show it here on the website. As you can see, what we see here are called list. And inside the list, I'm going to make use of list item and list icon as that. So for React, for Material UI website, when you search for list, okay, it gives you a nice way of using list in so many ways. But in our case, we're going to use list inside our drawer. So inside our drawer here, let's import list. Okay, let me see, I can have the book to import. Yeah, it works now. This is my run, everything's working fine. All right, so inside my list that wraps all my list item, let's grab list item, okay? And for this list item, inside my list item, we are going to use of list item test. List item, this list item text. As that so for this one you can pass in here the text you want to use so here the first one is what courses as that so here for drawer as you can see it's a state I will toggle let me show you the final one as you can see it's a state I can toggle and then click somewhere close it click somewhere to close it when I click in the use faces it closes when I click on this one it closes so I'm going to toggle that. So you have to make use of states inside our application. 
So the first state we are going to manage call open drawer state inside. So where is it? Here. So let's import use state. Let me see if I can have the auto import. No, it doesn't work. So let's go up here and do it manually. Excellent. And here, let's make use of use state. And then let me make it open drawer. Okay, open drawer, let me make it here, capital letter, open drawer by default is true. Excellent. So let's create a function, right? That will toggle handle open and handle close the drawer. But instead of creating our custom functions, I want to have inline, okay, inline um, event handler like that. So inside my drawer, it takes a couple of pros, but before that, let's import this one and use it inside our application. Let me arrange my files where I think, like that, okay, like that. So, let's import it and use it here. So, inside my nav bar, okay, let's place it below here for, for demo purposes. Let's try this one and see here. Place it here and see. What we are going to is drawer component. Sorry, is drawer component. This is our custom component. Save it. Let's check. This item is not defined. Let's go back here. I think we didn't import it well. Is what? List item. Oh yeah. List item. That is. It. Save it. Let me fresh it. And list item is not defined now by now by draw component. Where is it? List item is uh, where is the error coming from? Let me see. Okay, let me restart again. I think it's crashed. Let's try and then restart our server and see the error. I think I already have it. So why is it giving me that error? Let's see. And check again. All right, draw component is not defined. So let's come back here and then import here. Where is it? I think we didn't have it here. The auto import didn't work for us. So draw component. Why wow, you know in auto import sometimes? Okay, let's do it manually. So we import draw component from up one level inside my drawer component and then I have my drawer component save it as you can see nothing happens right nothing happens as it stands now so I just want to see that it appears it on our application because we need to pass in some prop to tell it to open or not so that is what we are going to do right now so first, we have to say pass in inside the drawer, pass in some prop to tell it to open or close. So the first one is what? Open. And the open, when you make it true, let's see what will happen. Let's go back. As you can see, voila, we have it been open automatically for us. So it's always what? Open, right? But we don't want that. We have to toggle it. So instead of this hard-coded one, we have to use it, the state called open drawer. The same thing open when I change this one to false, it's closed back to open true like that. So let's have a way of what toggling that when I click anywhere, it doesn't close. So you have to find a way, okay? When I click on anywhere on the page, you should close it, and that prop is called unclose, okay? Unclose for material you add. So on close, you have to pass in the function, okay? So you have to pass in inline function, error function, callback function, and then set open drawer to false. As simple as that. Save it, go back to application, click anywhere, closes. Refresh, click anywhere, closes. But we don't have a way of toggling it. That's what we're going to work on now. So let's continue. So now it opens from the left hand side. If you want to open from the top, bottom, or right, 
pass in one prop called anchor. The anchor, if it is top, let's see, coming from the top, as you can see, top. So let's, for the list item, let's add more item here to see that everything is working. As you can see, that is from top, okay? So let's, from bottom here, let's see it. Let's refresh it from the bottom here. And then if you want to write, let's save it here, as you can see, right there, okay? So let's delete this one. I just want to show you if you can have many tests to view. All right. So now we have it, it working. Okay. So let's add more props to it. And then the next one is on open. Okay. On open is you have to pass in on open prop on. Don't be scared about this. All these props are coming from on open. So I think open, yeah, that's open, right? That's, sorry, open. The next prop is called on close. We have it there. And then you have to pass in some classes. But before that, for the list item, as you can see, we pass in the list item and the inside we have list item. But I want to have it in a nice way at the final one. So instead of just pass in the list item and pass in, we can wrap this one are inside our list item icon so that we can have default styling list item icon okay and in here we can paste it our list item like that all right so let's save it and go back let's refresh it oh that's final one there yeah, this one this item icon is not defined my auto import is freaking up so here is list item icon. Save it. Let's see. As you can see, it gives us a nice way, but we don't have that kind of um, the final one. But we work on. So what you are going to do is you have to pass in a prop to the list item to have it a nice style way. As you can see, this kind of doesn't give me any effect. As you can see, but if you pass in button to the list. Um, item this one the button here let's see the default styling it gives us save it and then let's refresh again as you can see when i move my mouse to it as you can see that kind of background then google with that kind of style like a button style so what button does is change the text to button and you can add in so let's add in more this list item here okay um, this item here we can add more so let's copy and paste them two three four save it as you can see nicely structured as that so let's change this one to these courses thesis and paid so what we are going to change them now is instead of courses one the next one is what we have fees um yeah, so let's change them again here. So the first one is courses. The next one is fees. The next one will be what? Parent account. Parents accounts. And then I think I have to just account too. So let me have um, holidays too. And then let me paste them again and, and then change this one to, let's say, um, what do I have the last one? Final project. That, that's what I was having, right? So here, let's see what we have right now. Save it. That's what we have right now. But we don't have some underlying the final one project. As you can see, the drawer here, we have underlined this. Let's use that one. So it's a prop. So let's pass prop to the list item called divider, right? So divider will just have that kind of features inside our application. Save it. And then as you can see divider so let's add this divider prop to each of the list item as divider so let me copy this one and then paste it on each of my list item ok 
okay as that save it as you can see click on it so now the final one is as you can see okay sorry this one right as you have it as the original one all right so guys this is how we incorporate draw out inside our project but what it has done is that we want to toggle it when it reduce the size of our application to some viewport we have to bring in or have to render the drawer and hide this number all right that's and as to another concept called responsive design in material ui so that's what we are going to tackle in the next video to conditionally render this